Hi, I'm Gavin from the Academy. Today we're just going to look at the Applied Business Question or ABQ question uh, for Leaving Cert Business. So this question kind of gets a lot of uh, attention from teachers and students and kind of sends, tends to send people into a bit of a panic and a flap. So I'm just going to try and break down like what you would expect uh, from a question, what it would look like and kind of how you would approach answering it and try and just take away some of those barriers that kind of students can have with um, how hard it can be to enable you just to uh, answer it better. So with the applied business question, it's worth 20% of your paper and you have to do it. You don't get a choice in it. And each year um, for the seven units, three of the units will be on the ABQ first. So for the 2023 paper, it's five, six, and seven. For the 2024 paper, it's units one, two, and three. Um, so like that, it's worth 80 marks. There tends to be, there's always three units on it. And then there's always three parts. With, so for the ABQ, you'll have an A, a B, and a C. So um, one, each part of one question will come from each unit, making up the 80. It tends to be something like maybe 30 marks for one, 20 marks for the other, 30 for the other, or 30, 25, 25. So it's around the same amount of marks for each unit, uh, each year for the ABQ. Um, then within that, so what, what you're essentially gonna be given is a bit like a comprehension from, say, a first year English class where you get a bit of a story and then you have to answer questions that relate to the story. And that's essentially what the ABQ is. Um, but people kind of get caught up in how to answer it and they feel that because people like me doing videos of it here, uh, teachers may be telling you how important it is and stressing the kind of significance of it, um, that you have to write loads of information and you don't really have to do that. So what I'm trying to help with today is just break down what you would need, how much you'd need to write uh, to try and help you kind of save time, answer better and score better in it. So what you would do is you, you generally get three or four paragraphs in it. This is supposed to be just a bit of writing here. Uh, sometimes a, a little picture to kind of put context on it, but then the three questions come after it. And how this differs to anywhere else in your business exam is that uh, the, normally what, you, what I would tell you would be you state something, you explain it, and then you relate it if you need to. With the ABQ, what you need to do is state something, explain it using the kind of keywords from the text, and then pick a direct quote uh, straight out of the ABQ text. So if this sentence here is relevant to the uh, bit of keywords or information that you've just given, you should then rewrite this beside the keywords and information you've given. But I suppose the main way you score marks around 75 or 80% of the marks for the ABQ would be for the key terms. Because it is a Leaving Cert Business exam and the main thing the examiner wants to uh, find out from you is do you know the key words for Leaving Cert Business, like have you studied the, the content? And then in order to get the marks then you just need to be able to make it relevant to the text. So if you give some kind of keywords from the course that don't exist in this story, you wouldn't get any marks for it. Okay, so let's just have a look at what questions might look like and then how you would go about answering them. So uh, even if we look at how to answer first, like I was saying, state, explain, relate would be, would be the general thing here. So that's kind of like giving a heading or a statement to kind of open it. So generally what I would say here is when you're giving headings, just watch out that you, that you don't give titles. Titles would be like maybe kind of one word things like motivation or something like that, that might help you remember the points, but it mightn't be worth anything. You wanna make sure that they're like, generally a, a statement, they say something like increases motivation or lower motivation, something like that would help. Then you wanna explain, this is essentially just the keywords, your textbook knowledge, uh, or notes knowledge, like they're the important words to show the examiner. I've studied Leaving Cert Business. This is what, the bit I learned here, and, and you pick up marks very quickly for that. So just say uh, a, a part of an answer was worth eight, it might be three for that, three for that, and then two down here for the relate bit, and that is giving your direct quote from the ABQ text. So the direct quote, you need that to be uh, about a sentence long. Uh, you don't want it to be like three or four sentences and you don't want it to be, to be a word long. It should really just have kind of one piece of information in it, uh, or one, link, one clear link in it. And then how the question will be asked, one of them tends to maybe get broken into two parts. It'd be like explain the term, say, short-term finance, for example. And in that, it's the only time that you wouldn't need to have a direct quote in it. So up here for this, it's usually worth something like, say, six out of the 30, and you don't need a quote. Here, discuss the benefits of, say, using an overdraft or something like that if it was finance. Here you would go, the benefit uh, allows you to take out more, more money than you have explain like the keywords around an overdraft, current account and so on, and then give your direct quote from the text about them using a current account or something like that. Um, so you give two or three for that depending on how many links are in the text. Then here for B, you might have evaluate the marketing mix. And again, how that just would slightly differ would be, you'd state, say your, your product, you'd explain the keywords around product like USP and packaging branding. You'd give your direct quote from the ABQ text, uh, whatever it is, like you know, they developed the logo, this one, or they put it on the packaging. 
and then in this case you would also need to evaluate it. So evaluate would just be a little bit different that at the end then you would need to put in an evaluation for each of the points. An evaluation would be you give your opinion and then you back it up and you can't just kind of repeat the keywords you've already given. And then for this one then, illustrates John's use of, like that could be the other outcome verbs so we've had, explain the term, discuss, evaluate and illustrate. When you've explained in one term, don't, you don't need to link. Discuss and illustrate for ABQ tend to be the same thing, you just state, explain and relate. And then for your evaluate, you would uh, say, explain and relate with your direct quote and then also give your opinion on it and uh, justify that opinion without kind of repeating yourself. So what you need to do is just not write, not overwrite, structure all your answers the same like that and don't get caught up in kind of writing essay questions or writing huge amounts of information from the ABQ for it. After looking at that, um, I suppose with the ABQ, the, the main thing I really push students to remember is it's keywords all the way. There's a huge temptation because there's going to be lots of nice links in here for the stuff that you need. Like, you know, if you're talking about marketing mix and promotion, they might have like them doing a, an ad on social media. And students get really excited and see that and they're like, brilliant, I've got promotion here. And they write down promotion and then they put in the direct quote and, and just kind of say, oh, John has that social media ad. And what you're forgetting there is to give the kind of keywords and you can lose loads of marks for doing that. So you just want to make sure that when you see promotion is there, you write promotion and then you explain what promotion is. Like what's your textbook knowledge? They use sales promotion, short term gimmicks to increase sales. They use advertising examples of this or persuasive, generic. Uh, informative advertising and you kind of show the examiner look I've studied the course these are the keywords that are needed for it and then you give your relevant link uh, and that's the way to kind of uh, gain marks quickest in the ABQ so people tend to kind of waffle and pad and think I need to write more information because I've been told from the start of fifth year that the ABQ is uh, everything that's important and needs priority but actually you can spend an awful lot of time on this and not gain any marks because you're not just focusing in on the textbook knowledge. When your examiner is correcting it, they're just looking, do they have a, a handful of the different words that you need? And if they don't have, if you don't have that in, even if you've written half a page, you won't get any marks. If you do have it in and you've only written three lines, you'll get all the marks. So just focus on quality. Don't forget to use your keywords. Um, and then make sure to look for little nuances, like if it says evaluate, give your opinion in it. If it says explain the term, you, you really just need to explain that term or define that term and then move on.